everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a holiday makeup look featuring some of my favorite products. So, if that interests you, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna get started first by pulling my hair back. I'm going to use this Velcro roller. Velcro rollers are a great way to get your hair out of the way and also give it some lift while you're doing your makeup. And it only takes like two seconds to put in. Yeah, and then you can also maybe even hit it with a little hairspray if your your hair has a tendency to fall. So I have my eyebrows on. I use the Benefit of Precision Brow uh, in number 3.5, I think I use. Yes, 3.5. So first I'm going to use a primer. I'm gonna use the Elf Poreless Putty. This has, it's a great hydrating primer, but it also fills in any pores and fine lines that you, you may have. Its consistency is like so. So it's a nice primer to go in and fill in any fine lines and uh, pores if you have some pores. And that's really where I concentrate on those areas when I put it on. Yeah, it retails for $10 and it's lovely. It, it's very hydrating too. It, uh, it has squalene in it, which is a very hydrating substance. Okay, next I'm gonna use my Painterly Paint Pot. It's made by MAC and it retails for roughly $25. I'm going to take brush here, this MAC brush, and I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to take a little bit and go across my entire lid. I'm going to even out any discoloration that I might have on my lid, and it's also going to enhance any eyeshadow that, I might, that I'm going to be using. So, and also people also use it for just an eye base, they don't use anything else. You can already see how it kind of like brightened up that eye a little bit, so it just kind of goes in there and evens out everything. I, it's one of my most used products. And I'm telling you, a little bit goes a long way. And as long as you put the lid back on it, it will stay forever. Next, I'm gonna go in, and this, because this is gonna be sort of a holiday look, I'm gonna be using the Soft Glam 2 palette. This is the mini. Um, you can see the beautiful colors in there. I'm gonna be using, I think I'm gonna use three colors today. I'm gonna to use this incense color here. And then I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna use Dreamer. And then I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna use this mulberry color. Okay, and that's just gonna, I'm just gonna do a little bit of that in the corner of the eye. And it's just gonna kind of enhance the eye a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my Yano number six brush. I'm gonna go in there. Okay, I'm gonna roll my brush around it. I'm gonna tap off any excess. And then I'm just gonna go right across that crease of my eye and kind of blend it around and I'm going back and forth with wiper motions and then make circles. A little bit of this product is um, the Anastasia palettes are pretty, um, pretty pigmented so you don't need a lot of product. There is a lot of kickback though I notice on her, her, her shadows so just so you know there is like a lot of push up so you do get a lot of drop off onto your lower part of your eye. So just be careful when you're ever using this product. So that is the color incense. Incense? Yeah, incense. And you can just see, it kind of gives it a wash of color up there. Pretty neutral. If you're looking for a more compact type palette, this is a great option. It's more, it has a lot of neutral tones, which I have a tendency to lean towards. Okay, so I'm gonna go in now. I'm going to take this blush here. This is another matte brush. I'm gonna spray it. I'm going to use the Max Fix Plus, but if you have any type of setting spray, you, may, you can use it. The Max Fix Plus is prep and prime. It's something that you can use on your skin. Spray onto your skin before you do your makeup. You can also use it after you do your makeup, and you can also use it to enhance your uh, eyeshadows, especially your shimmery type shadows, and that's just what I just did. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to dab that in there, and I'm just going to go right across my lid here. And that's just gonna give it a pop of color. And again, this is an eye look that I would do for the holidays. But this time of year, we do have a tendency to kind of dress it up a little bit more, <laughs> wear a little bit more jewelry. Okay, and then I'm just taking that same brush that I put the eyeshadow on and just kind of marrying those two together. Next, I'm gonna go in, I'm going to take this Makeup Forever, this Limitless Brown. And I'm gonna go right across my lash line just to get, add a little bit of depth. This retails for $22. It is a pretty 
neutral brown. It's not too red, it's or warm, I should say, and it's not too uh, not too cool either. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to go right across my lash line. So can I just stop for one minute and talk to you a little bit about um, the documentary I just saw this past week? It was the Martha Stewart documentary. I don't know if anybody saw it, but oh my God. I, you know, we all grew up, I grew up with Martha Stewart, knowing her, you know, all of her, you know, her home goods and her cooking and her plants. But when it came to seeing what she went through with the insider trading um, and then having a, a challenging marriage and then also going into jail and, you know, to prison and spending time there. I have like this newfound respect for her after watching this documentary. I mean, I guess I kind of knew that she was going through those things, but I had no idea the depth that it was, you know? And, you know, there's so many different takes on it. Um, I heard different people say that if that was a man, that would have never happened. Um, she was well on her way to being, you know, a billionaire. I think she was even a billionaire. and. To go to jail for insider trading for like, I don't know, $35,000 was clearly uh, like something that they were just looking to make an example of. Or that's just how I felt. I don't know. Let me know how you feel about it. But I don't know. Like I have this newfound respect for her, like I said. And she's 83 years old and she's still creating content. I started to follow her on Instagram. I'm like, oh my God, this is wonderful. Okay, so that's the eyeliner that I just did across my lash line there. Next I'm going to go and I'm going to put my foundation on. And I'm going to be using this one here. This is the Armani Luminous Silk. It is in the shade 5.1. It is a lightweight, buildable coverage. I love this. It has a luminosity to it, but it's not too over the top. It's a perfect foundation for special occasions. So I'm just going to take, start off with one pump. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take this Mario F1 brush. I'm gonna take the larger end where it has like the, the, bevel, the, the slant on it. And I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna tap my brush into that, kind of swirl it around. And I'm going to start over here with that foundation. So you can see how nicely that goes on. And if you don't like a heavy application, you know, you could just, you know, this is a beautiful foundation. You can just see how it kind of evened out any uneven tones that I have in my skin and the redness and just kind of took it down. But yet, it doesn't look cakey at all. I'm going to go in, I'm going to use another pump. I think I may have to get more of it. <laughs> I've been using it a lot because I really love it. So it's definitely worth the money. I think it, retail, it retails for $69. Um, they do have smaller versions. This is the, what size is this? I'll leave the, what size this is down below, but this size retails for $69. They also have another size, which is like $45. And I think it's like, I think this is a full ounce. And the other one maybe is three quarters of an ounce. So here we go, let's do the other side. So maybe you can get a better look. And I'm just kind of swiping that down. But do you see the beautiful finish that that has? And then I kind of just go ahead and just kind of press it into the skin. Beautiful, right? Okay, I'm gonna take the rest of that and I'm gonna go in and I'm going to press that into my forehead. And that is the Armani Luminous Silk in shade number 5.1 and it retails for $69. So comment below too, let me know, what are you watching? What are you streaming? Uh, have you seen any good, or do you listen to any good podcasts? I have a tendency to listen to, there's a couple I listen to. I listen to Joe Rogan, um, which is kind of funny. And I listen to the All In podcast, and it's uh, four men actually that talk a little bit about current affairs and finances and political things, but it's a different, it's an interesting take because each one of them have their own unique perspective on things and they kind of get into it sometimes. So it's not like a one set, it's not like you're in a fishbowl hearing the same, you know, the same viewpoints from different people, but it's called the All In Podcast. Great podcast. 
So they don't all happen to be like billionaires though themselves too. So it's just interesting to listen to these people, you know, talk about their where they go and what they do. <laughs> so whole different level of problems that they have. All right, next, all right, so that's my foundation. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to take this bronzer, right? This is the Ambient Nude Bronzer. This color here, you can see that I've almost hit pan. I think I actually did hit pan here in the middle. But this is an hourglass product. It's a lovely product. It kind of gives you a natural sun-kissed look. You'll see when I put it on. It's not too, again, it's not too warm and it's not too, it's not too cool. It's somewhere in the middle, which I happen to like. So when it goes on, it doesn't look, again, it doesn't look too orangey or it doesn't look too dark looking where it kind of makes me look uh, like I'm old and tired. <laughs> All right, let me grab my brush over here. I'm gonna be using, no I'm not, I'm not gonna use that brush. I'm gonna use this brush here. This is a Sonia G cheek brush, okay? And I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna tap into there. Like so. Not too much excess comes off, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a pretty, this is a baked eyeshadow. This is a baked, no, this is a baked powder, so if you don't get a lot of brush off from it, and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to just tap that across my forehead just to kind of give it that sun-kissed glow where it doesn't look too over the top. And I like to go right in on my hairline and do this so it doesn't look like it's sitting on my forehead. Then I'm going to go across my cheekbone and do some here. And I don't want to use a whole lot. I'm not looking to contour. I'm just looking to add a little bit of a healthier glow. And this is like photoluminescent. So there is a luminosity to this too. But again, it's not like, it's not like high, high shine at, by any means. So one of the ways I love to glam it up a little bit for the holidays is to wear jewelry. And right now, Anna Luisa is having a 30, up to a 35% off a uh, jewelry sale so um that's going to be going i believe right straight through till the holidays i'm going to leave a link in the description box below but all of their jewelry is it's uh water resistant it's anti-tarnish it's hypoallergenic some of the pieces i've had for like four four or five years already and it looks like brand new like you don't even see any wear and tear on them um uh, one of the oldest pieces that i've had is this rope ring here you can see it's in great shape. I, this was one of my original purchases. This piece here I just recently got, like maybe like three or four months ago. It's called the Aura and it is a strap band. It is like a watch band, right, that you can wear. And it just kind of elevates a style, but in an effortless kind of way where it doesn't look too glitzy. Uh, I recently picked up this one here. This is the Bobble Necklace. Okay, that one I got um, a few months back. I love this one. You can see. And again, like I said, everything is, you have free shipping, free exchanges. Uh, everything is anti-tarnish, which I really appreciate. So this beautiful green ring is called My. It's lovely, and I wear it on my pointer finger. And, I, you know, I have love, like, thin band rings like this, you know, that you can wear because it doesn't feel, they don't feel uncomfortable on your hands. And I can compare, and I was hesitant on getting this because I always have a tendency to bend these rings, like because they are so fine. And I can show you this one here that I purchased, not from Ana Luisa, but I purchased it from another company. And you can see how mangled it is, okay? And I was so afraid that that was going to happen to this ring, but it did not. It's been holding up very nicely and I wear it all the time. And I have my fingers and hands and my chemicals all the time. So I'm going to put all this jewelry on at the end so that you can see the entire look together. And then again, like I said, there's a, a huge sale going on. So you might want to take advantage of that. Okay, so I have my bronzer on. Next, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use a blush and I'm going to be using this hourglass palette, the elephant palette. You can see it's a substantial palette, beautiful uh, palette. I've had this now for over two years and it barely looks like it's been used and I use it all the time. So you don't get a lot of waste with her, with hourglass products, that's for sure, like you, they last <clears throat> forever. And they just came out with some new ones. I'll put, I'll leave them up above here some new uh, palettes with different covers on them and they're just gorgeous. There's one I think with a third eye on it, another one with like a flowery powder, 
uh, pattern on it. So they're really very pretty. So what you get in here is you get your blushes, you get a bronzer, you get a highlighter, and then you get two finishing powders. It retails, these retail for $90, and they're, they really just give a more mild type effect on the skin. They're not too heavy. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to take this brush here. This is the Sonia G, this is the classic base brush. And I'm gonna go in and I'm going to tap into this, what blush am I gonna use? I'm gonna use the pink one here. I'm gonna tap into that there, tap off any excess, and I'm just gonna go across my cheekbone up here so you can see that color. See how pretty that is? It just kind of gives it a rosy pink. Show you there. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the other side. And then if I do get too heavy with blush, what I do, and I do this anyway, but only so it looks more blended on the skin, is I'll go back and I'll take that original brush that I used for foundation, and I'll just go in and go around the edges of it so it doesn't look so harsh. Okay, so you see how that just kind of softened it up a little bit? I'll do it on this side so you can see. And I just go around the edges like so. So much of makeup, doing makeup application, is just kind of doing a lot of this. <laughs> It really is. I'm, when I'm on weddings and we're all working together, like this is all I need. Everybody's just blending it into the skin. And that's really what makes it look like it's seamless on the skin. So if you get in the habit of doing that, you'll probably see a huge difference in your makeup application. And I'll show you another trick at the end that you can do um, at the very end of your makeup. And it's not going to disturb anything. It's just going to kind of make it look more blended. I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this Morphe Continuous Prep and Set Mist. This is a setting spray. This, is, this retails for $20. So this is a long lasting setting spray and I love, you know, the thing I love most about this is, I'm gonna show you in one second, is the mist that comes out. So, can you see how fun? Oh, my battery died, so I had to put a new battery in there. So, next I'm going to be using this Lancome Concealer in 220C. This is a light hydrating serum concealer and it is super lightweight. I'm loving it. So if you have a dry under eye, it's amazing for that. And I'm just gonna go in and put a little here and here. Go underneath here and here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the other end of that F1 brush and I'm gonna press that product into my under eye. I'm not a big fan of heavy concealer underneath my eyes, not at this age. I get one that's super lightweight and like a serum, I, I love it, so. So it retails for $30, and it's really perfect for just brightening the under eye. You can see how it just looks brighter now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Surratt Lash Curler, and I'm going to use this Jones Road Pitch Black. You can see this nice big head that it has. It reminds me of Better Than Sex Mascara because um, it's got that big head like that. And I'm gonna go in and I'm going to coat my lashes. So you can see that that just gives it a huge amount of lift and length. I did say I was gonna go in and put a little bit of that eyeshadow on the corner of my eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and do that so you can see the difference. I'm just gonna take this very small blending brush and I'm gonna tap in there tap into that mulberry color right there this is a pretty color for the holidays and again like i said her 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 eyeshadows are very pigmented so and i'm just going to go in the corner of my eye and just kind of give it a little bit of color and i just kind of keep pressing it in the corner can you see how it just kind of gave it a little bit more depth there let's go ahead and do the other side Okay, so that is mulberry in the corner there. And now I can take my original blending brush and just kind of go in and kind of blend those in a little bit. And I have to go pick my grandsons up from preschool today and I'm gonna look like, <laughs> like I think I'm something special. <laughs> so anyway, there's gonna be a lot of makeup on for me to go pick them up. <laughs> All right, where was I at? Okay, I'm going to, 
and use a lip product. And I'm going to be using this lip pencil. This is Whatever Walnut. And it is the Makeup Forever lip pencils. I love this color. It's a, you can see it's a nice, let me get this other brown off there. You can see it's a nice neutral color. So I'm going to be using that and I'm going to be going over that with this Cream in Your Coffee Satin Lipstick from MAC. So you can see that that kind of goes a little bit with the eye and it's just a little bit more festive looking. And the Jones Road Mascara, just for reference, it, goes, it retails for $26. And this Makeup Forever Lip Pencil retails for $22. And I, again, it's in the color of whatever walnut. And it's one of those colors where it goes, everybody can wear it. It's a great color. It really is. It's in every makeup artist I know's kit because it's just, it's just a beautiful color. <laughs> All right, let's go in there and try that lip color on see what you guys think. Comment below too, let me know. Are you cooking for the holidays? Are you, are you going to see family? I'm going to my son's house. Okay, that is cream in your coffee. So if you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt like you put too much makeup on, if you can grab like a brush similar to this or just any type of brush, you know what I mean? It has like a flat head on it, even if it's a bevel like this or even like this, right? And then you simply take that brush and then just kind of make circular motions all over your face. And this will kind of give it more of an airbrush type look and kind of smooth down some of that makeup if you feel like you put too much on. This is the finished look, right? So it's not too over the top. It's just a nice soft sort of soft glam for the holidays. Oh, these are the two rings. It is the slim rope ring and then the color, uh, and then the other ring is called May. I had the Aura watch band bracelet on. Okay, you can see how it just kind of elevates the outfit a little bit. And then I have on the bobble necklace, which is this center one here. And then these two pieces here come together, this one and this top one. And that's called a legacy. Okay, so it's the legacy or this is the top one and the bottom one and then the middle is a bobble uh, necklace. And I would elevate it a little bit more like for a holiday. And these are all adjustable too, so you can make them shorter, you can change the length on them. And again, like I said, they're all tarnish resistant. This is the moon pendant. It has this mother of pearl in the center of it. I'm gonna leave a picture up here. These two pieces are actually going to be in the giveaway that I'm doing. So make sure you enter to win for the giveaway, which is going to be drawn on December 23rd. And wait, and I'll link the giveaway video to the end of this one so that you can go on there. Simple instructions into uh, how to win possibly a gift from there. And then this necklace here is called the Laura. Again, it's another like chain link necklace. It's beautiful, right? It's a good way, again, I wear all these pieces when I'm showering and when I'm working out. I don't take off my necklaces. I do take off my rings and my earrings, but I, I leave the necklaces on. And they never tarnish, and they look as good as the day that I bought them. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving and have a wonderful holiday. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.